So we all saw this video coming, right? Welcome back to yet another edition of the internet's favorite show, So You're Interested In, the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into that artist. And this week we'll be going over one of my favorite artists of the past couple of years, JPEG Mafia. His incredibly unique blend of experimental hip-hop, off-the-wall vocals, and pop sensibility have made him a unicorn in the hip-hop community. Since the inception of his career, the Baltimore native has released five full-length LPs, a bunch of singles, and a plethora of features. As always, I will talk about two albums and three individual tracks that I think you should be listening to if you want to get into JPEG Mafia. First things first, the albums. The first record to check out from JPEG Mafia is his 2018 breakthrough record, Veteran. Filled with eclectic and chaotic samples, this album still finds a way to sound minimalistic and open. Despite the absurd, left-field nature of his beats and his unrelentingly angry lyrics, it's impressive that this album became as popular as it did. Starting off the album's opening track, 1539 North Calvert, you were immediately tossed into Peggy's sound and style. Creating a hodgepodge of samples and trap beats, Peggy appropriately addresses his new listeners with a bang. Next, you gotta listen to Baby I'm Bleeding. Probably one of his most braggadocious tracks to date, the instrumental is intense and overbearing, making it feel like you were trapped inside the beat. All while Peggy is rapping in a stream of consciousness, laying down classic line after classic line. And because of all this, it's one of his most quotable tracks. Finally, things calm down with Macaulay Culkin. The beat on this is the definition of a slow burner, mixing these gorgeous guitar chords with these raw drums and eccentric high-pitched synths. JPEG reminisces about growing up in the 90s, making reference after reference to the memories that he's fond of. Veteran is absolutely worth a full listen in order to better understand JPEG Mafia's persona. Next, you have to listen to Peggy's latest full-length LP, All My Heroes Are Cornballs. Taking the pop sensibility that he showed on Veteran and turning that dial up to 11, this is one of the most interesting hip-hop records of the past 10 years. Not to mention, this was my favorite album of 2019. King off the album's opening song, Jesus Forgive Me, I Am A Thought, the listener is treated to a beautiful off-kilter beat filled with switches and surprises. You are also introduced to a new version of Peggy, one that is not afraid to sing and use auto-tune in the most outlandish ways possible. Next, you get beta male strategies. Built on a wobbly broken loop, the instrumental feels like it's going to fall apart at any given moment. However, JPEG chugs along, calling out all of his fans who hide behind internet anonymity. The track ends off with a guitar solo of a beat switch, slowly unraveling and intensifying the song. Finally, you need to hear Free the Frail. Is it the most beautiful song Peggy has ever produced? Quite possibly yes. While most of the album focuses on acute, bombastic beat switches, Free the Frail is a true pop single. Peggy airs out his grievances on Life in the Limelight, still reeling from his newfound stardom and all the responsibilities and freedoms that come with it. All My Heroes Are Cornballs was my favorite album of last year for a reason, as it is still accessible to new fans of JPEG, but also still gives back to the old fans who are constantly finding new pieces as they pull apart the layers. Definitely one to check out. It's track time! The first track you need to hear from JPEG is How to Build a Relationship off of Flume's Hi This Is Flume mixtape. Flume's EDM background helps him craft a one-of-a-kind beat for a one-of-a-kind rapper. This is one of a very few number of tracks that Peggy is on that he did not produce. And while his production is great, seeing him on somebody else's beat is also worthwhile, especially when the beat gives him the ability to show off his flow like he does on How to Build a Relationship. A must listen indeed. Next you need to listen to the 27 Club from his 2016 LP, Black Black Bang Carson. Peggy raps about the famed 27 Club all over a lush sampled beat of hums, piano, bass, and percussion. He raps about Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and Kurt Cobain, all infamous members of the 27 Club, and he relates their struggles to modern day hip hop. To me, it is one of Peggy's most intriguing tracks in terms of his lyrical content that also doesn't require too much research or thought. It acts as a great think piece for new listeners to better understand who Peggy is. Finally, you've got to listen to I'll Never Forgive Hipsters for What They Did to Brooklyn off of his 2015 debut communist slow jams. Peggy lays out all of his grievances over the gentrification of Brooklyn over this dark brooding beat that is just dripping with reverb. The reason this song is so great for new listeners is because it is one of the best examples of him matching the tone of his vocals and lyrics with the beat. The verses are dreary and spiteful, while the beat is broken down and defeated, much like Peggy's feelings towards the topic at hand. It will make new listeners not only understand how he makes his music, but also why it feels so impactful to the people who appreciate and understand him. It's not a banger, but it is a must listen. 
And that is all that I have this week. If you do decide to go out and listen to some JPEG Mafia, please let me know what albums or tracks you listened to and enjoyed in the comments below. If you're already a fan of his and you want to call me out on something that I missed, totally understand, leave it in the comments below. All interaction is good interaction, as far as I'm concerned. If you have any artists that you would like to see covered on this channel, please, please, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to see them. I would love to listen to that artist if I've never heard them, and I would love to write an episode about them for you. And while you're down there, please subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this every single Wednesday, along with video history essays on classic albums that come out every Friday. During this quarantine, just trying to keep you entertained. So go listen to some new music, whether it's JPEG Mafia or somebody completely different, I don't care. Just go listen, go expand your brain to the infinite world of music that is around you, and support your local artists, please, as much as you possibly can. If you listen to their music and you enjoy it, drop a couple bucks on their band camp or whatever it may be, buy some merch, buy an LP, I don't know, just help them out during these trying times. That is, you know, if you can. So, until next week, happy listening.